Today on Fresno State Focus, we show you how to adult with workshops here on campus. Also, the free speech area has been getting a lot of attention these days. Find out why. Plus, find out when the Fresno State softball tournament starts. Fresno State Focus starts now. Hello and welcome to Fresno State Focus. I'm Gabriela Garcia. And I'm Esther Ogonian. Vindiction or a miscarriage of justice, these are Chicago's reactions to Jesse Smollett's charges being dropped. That leads our four things to know at four today. All charges against TV star Jesse Smollett have been dropped. The dismissal of charges against Smollett over faking a hate crime drew backlash from the Chicago chief police and the city's mayor. Do I think justice will serve? No. Where do I think justice is? I think this city is still old in apology. It's Mr. Smollett who committed this, 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 this hoax, period. I stand by the facts of what we produce. This is a whitewash of justice. Smollett's dismissed case allowed his attorneys to get his criminal case sealed and wiped completely clean. Fresno State wrapped up its Student Success Summit at noon today. The theme of this year's summit was communication, collaboration, and belonging. Speakers were past Fresno State graduates and current staff. Each topic was talked about and then discussed among groups. Rick Chukon of the Recruitment Department here at Fresno State chimed in on what he thinks was the most crucial topic discussed. The collaboration. We need to work together. We need to be on the same level of helping students. We need to have the same information, and we need to be passionate about serving our students, which I think we do here at Fresno State. The Fresno State staff says they are confident they will have to continue the residents' support in helping students collaborate, communicate, and belong. We have an update now to a story from last week. The Fresno Panhandlers bill failed to pass. The Fresno City Council decided not to punish drivers who stopped to give money to panhandlers or people without the proper permits. So if you're at an intersection and someone comes up to your stopped car asking for money, you will not be fined for helping them out. Chick-fil-A has been caught donating to anti-LGBTQ groups after vowing to stop. The fast food chain donated more than $1 million to the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, the Paul Anderson Youth Home, and the Salvation Army. All these groups have clearly stated their policies banning homosexuality. Chick-fil-A says it refuses to stop donating to the Salvation Army. A big topic these past few weeks here at Fresno State is free speech. Many students are not happy about the area of campus. Some would even say that it's a nuisance. Connor Madison has more on this story. What's wrong with your normal or natural state of mind? Brother Jed and his affiliates are famous on campus. I think they just want um, attention. They want to evoke um, negative connotations to students. Attention is exactly what they are getting. And what's missing is the Holy Ghost. Groups of people gather around to listen to what they say. They'll say something that we don't like, and of course students don't like it, so they're going to react to it in a negative way. The group has gained gobs of controversy. What makes me different from you, people, is I'm a man. President Castro sent an email to students telling them that the Fresno State campus is a free speech zone and these speakers are within their right. Many students weren't happy. I don't think he understands the magnitude of what these people are saying. Free speech is a huge topic, especially on college campuses. But is there anything that Fresno State can do to stop these people from coming to campus? The university really cannot do anything to prevent Brother Jeb, his followers, from saying whatever they want, just like Fresno State really cannot in any way prevent the students from shouting equally offensive things back at Brother Jeb. Castro says students should just ignore speakers who are being offensive and remember that the First Amendment protects everyone, 
even those whose speech we don't like. Reporting from Fresno State, Connor Matson, Fresno State Focus. Reverend Jed has been preaching on college campuses all over the U.S. since 1972. If you're interested, you can check out that viral meme that we've posted on our website at FresnoStateFocus.com. Another topic that's been big on campus right now is how to become an adult. Elodi Resendez is here with that. Elodi. Thanks, Gabby. No one said growing up would be easy, but luckily for Fresno State students, there are workshops on campus to help those who need transitioning, need help transitioning to adulthood. Cooking is a skill that is often tied to maturity. However, some people do not possess that skill yet. Sometimes cooking skills get lost in translation. Either we don't learn them before we leave the home, or we don't get exposed to a lot of different skills, so the kitchen very quickly becomes a scary place. Luckily for Fresno State students, there's a program provided on campus to help them gain the skills and confidence to become an adult. We know that we, our students are looking for more information and more education, and we wanted to be able to provide that to them. How to Adult, Learning Beyond the Classroom is a program where students have the opportunity to learn well beyond the classroom. The cool part about it is that there are students who teach the course too, which is beneficial both ways. And they all say it starts with a grocery store to get stocked up. I think they'll benefit from this program just because they get a different aspect of seeing how cooking and like going grocery shopping or what um, ingredients we throw into a recipe can take as long as 30 minutes and it doesn't have to be something extensive and they might already have the ingredients in their kitchen so they can just whip something up real quick and it will be a healthy meal. The program organizers hope to expand and continue this course for many years. I really recommend this course. Um, came, uh, coming in, I wasn't sure what to expect, but the guidance was great. I learned a lot. The How to Adult, Adult, How to Adult workshop series is a one-year pilot. Once it is completed, any of the CSU campuses will be able to integrate the program within their campuses. The best part about, about it is that it started right here at Fresno State. If you want to learn how to adult, there are still a couple of classes left. Spots are limited, though, so sign up fast. For more information, visit our website. Back to you, Esther. We are down to the last four days of the month, and that includes the last four days to donate to the 2019 March matchup. Jessica Medina is here to tell us where we're at so far and how much more we have to meet our goal. Jessica? Hi. Hello. So what's been the biggest form of support this year? I think starting with a $100,000 March uh, matchup uh, Donation was just absolutely amazing this year. Our partners at Moss Adams, Granville Homes, as well as an anonymous donor are matching up to $100,000, which is the biggest match we've had to start with. I did see on the website that we're at 82,000. We are, we're at 82,000 and counting and four days to go. What are we doing to push? for the last four days? You know, we are pushing all kinds of different things. There are still opportunities to round up at the book, Kennel Bookstore, the farm market on campus, the Bulldog Shop. Uh, you can still round up at Macy's as well. And so we've also done things like the Pyology Give Back Days, the Dutch Bros Give Back Days. Um, we did some stuff at Buffalo Wild Wings. So we've just had a lot of partners. Sal's also is offering opportunities for people to give when they pay their bill as well. Oh, wow. So if you're hungry for dinner tonight, head on over to Sal's, That's get right. some chips and salsa. And then I did have another question. For students who don't know about the student cupboard, where can they get more information? What else do they need to redeem food and items? So the student cupboard is our free food and hygiene pantry on campus. We're located out of Industrial Technology Room 144. And students can come in once per day to get up to one of each item to fill their basket. Uh, we do hygiene packs the third um, Wednesday and Thursday of every single month. Um, and students can get a full size shampoo, bar soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, things like that as well. Um, but otherwise they're able to come in once per day to get the items that they need. Okay, and I want to wrap this up, but I do have one last question. How can someone volunteer if they were interested? Go to our website at fresnostate.edu slash food security and click on the volunteer link. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. We've been talking with Jessica Medina about crunch time for the March matchup for 2019. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me.
Monday, Fresno State held its President Lecture Series. Ooh. Chairman and Editor-in-Chief of Forbes Media, Steve Forbes, was the guest speaker giving his political insight on things from the economy to the Trump administration. Fresno State President Joseph Castro introduced Forbes to a private group of media and Fresno State students. Forbes spoke on topics from, poli from politics to his personal experience, running for president before opening the floor for questions. When asked his thoughts on the current administration, Forbes didn't hold back. Came in 2018, and then we've had SAC 24. Thanks. It's good to be here. got to find out what you might have a knack for. Some people already have a overall good, but the big thing right now is tariffs. Got to get that resolved. That is because if you don't know what the rules of the game are, you're not going to invest. Even if you're ready to go, you're confident, you see things turning around, you want to know, okay, what are the parameters? What are the rules of the game? And so the sooner we get that resolved, the better. Come up with zilch. And so Act. President Castro and students listened closely, being that the press conference was the only time Forbes was accepting questions. President Castro coordinates which guest will speak and host the Fresno State President Lecture Series throughout the school year. Coming up on Fresno State Focus, one of our reporters will be live showing us where you can donate blood here on campus. Hope he doesn't faint. I'm Connor Matson. and we're going to show you what the weather has in store for you this weekend, coming up next on Fresno State Focus. Success. That last part was... At Fresno State, it's no secret. It's discovering new ways to change our world. It's creating opportunities as diverse as our community itself. It's in the distinction of our graduates as they lead us into the future. Success is no secret at Fresno State. It's our mission. This is our Fresno State. Forming relationships and learning experiences that last a lifetime. Making friends who are like family. Learning from professors who treat us like family. And earning a degree to make a better future for our family. Engaging our alumni generation by generation by generation. This is our Fresno State. Welcome to the family. I'm Connor Matson, and here's a view of Fresno State from the top of the Peters Business Building. And as we can see coming up, weather on both sides of the coast. Well, let's start with the east coast right over here. We have a, a low pressure system down over there at the bottom. And if you go up more toward the east coast, there's another pressure system up toward Canada. But let's move our way to the west coast. So we can see there's everywhere, all the whole west coast is just filled with weather, as we can see as we go up to the top of Washington and Idaho area, the rain does get heavier. But let's go look at the Pacific Ocean real quick. So we do have this low pressure system building up right over here, and then we have another one coming in right down over here that's gonna bring us rain next week, and I'll come up on that. Then our current weathers right now, we have very mild weathers, high 60s throughout the whole valley. Then we have a Shaver Lake at 48. But if we move to tonight, Shaver Lake's gonna go down all the way to 26, then Stockton up there at 48 degrees. And then just high 40s, low 50s throughout the whole valley. And then let's move on to our Focus on air quality, there we go. Good air quality throughout the whole valley today. So if you want to go for a run tonight, there's gonna to be no rain or anything like that. So let's get to our extended outlook as we can see Wednesday, we did have showers today, but there isn't going to be any more rain for the rest of the day, which moves on to Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's going to be a beautiful sunny weekend. If you wanted to go hiking or anything like that, it's going to be amazing this weekend. We move on to Monday, Tuesday, right over here. It is going to be partially cloudy on Monday, and that low pressure system that I talked to you about earlier is going to be coming in on Tuesday right there. And that is your focus on weather. Back to you, Gabby. Now let's talk about health. 
Joe Prado is a health education specialist at the Fresno County Department of Health. And you are here to talk about something that's a little taboo, but important to talk about, sexually transmitted diseases. They're at an all-time high in California. Why? Yeah, and we're seeing that significant increase here in Fresno County, and we're just uh, we're just seeing different. Um, you can't attribute it to one particular thing. Your um, different sexual behaviors, um, increase in testing, um, more access to testing as well. So there's just a huge increase here in Fresno County. We're seeing. Wow, that's very interesting. So it's mostly like if they're testing for STDs, why so? I know that there's like um, complications that can help it happen, but why so are STDs like such a huge concern? Yeah, uh, the main concern is that if you untreated STDs, you can have significant um, physical um, concerns. Um, also, um, you could uh, have problems with pregnancies, and there's also what we're seeing, untreated STDs also impacting on newborn babies as well. Oh, wow. So I know that there, I did go over the news release and I know there's about like maybe three top highest. Can you tell us which are those? Yeah, the, the most concerning to us um, right now is we've seen HIV increase um, um, from 2015 to 2017, about 55%. Wow. Um, syphilis has grown about, during that same time period, about 44%. And chlamydia and gonorrhea, they've grown about 20% from 2015 to 2017. So we're not on the decline. And as we're seeing the more um, serious STDs like HIV, and we're seeing an increase in AIDS as well. That's really concerning because those have the most medical complications. What would you say are a couple of things you guys are doing to address these problems? Yeah, so pretty much uh, we say we've had a syphilis epidemic since 2016 here in uh, Fresno County. We started um, working and actually treating individuals. We don't have a full-fledged STD clinic, but we do treat syphilis patients. So we actually investigate. We knock on your door, we ask you who you're having sex with, <laughs> and we actually bring you into our clinic and provide treatment. Um, we're actually doing a, a another huge issue with syphilis is that the um, drug bicillin is hard to get a hold of. And so we've actually provided that to our local OBGYN providers. And so we're actually doing a more increased investigations in that. Um, HIV, we're looking at how do we expand that. And um, education and outreach is going to be a key for us. And really getting out to the younger population and overall. And, and we'll be looking at a launch and an outreach um, next month. Well, we've been talking with Joe Prado. If you want more information, you can visit their website. Thank you, Joe, for coming in. Thank you. The Fresno State Blood Drive is happening right now. So if you have not given blood, you still have time. Cedric Hood is live at the Free Speech area with the Central California Blood Center van where students are donating blood. Hi, Cedric. How's it going? All right. I'm 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 here, guys. It's an exciting day. The Central California Blood Center is here and students are donating blood. I've a very special friend with me today, not Victor the Bulldog, but Chris, right? Chris, who is the director of the Rector Center. How are you doing today, Chris? Great, wonderful. Happy to be out here. Great. So, Chris, why is it so exciting um, for students to come out here and donate blood today? You know, we've been we've been working with Central California Blood Center for about 20 years now, and, and I think that there's no better way to spend an hour of your time than to come out, donate blood, and help save up to three lives through that one hour of donation. Perfect. And if students want to get out here and donate or reach out to anybody, I guess you're the perfect person, right? Yeah, they can contact the Richter Center anytime to get information not only about donating blood at campus blood drives, but also about any kind of volunteer or service opportunity. All right, thank you, Chris. And we also have Alex, who's a PR student today. So Alex, tell me a bit about what, what the student might need to come out here to donate blood. So the student needs to, needs to have a good breakfast or lunch and a, a healthy meal, uh, needs to be hydrated, and it needs to have a valid uh, government issue ID. Perfect, those things sound great. So the trucks have been here or the blood mobiles have been here all week. How much longer do they have left to come out here and donate? Um, so we'll be here tomorrow uh, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Perfect, so ID, 17 years of age and good health, right? All right, that's perfect. All right, so I'm actually gonna donate some blood today. I filled out all the paperwork and I had my ID so luckily. Good. So I'm gonna actually get on this blood mobile and give blood today. I'm gonna send Victor down and I'm really excited because this is gonna be my first time giving blood. So I'm Cedric Hood here at the University Student Union. Back to you guys at the studio. Coming up in sports, we will see what huge honor Fresno State wrestler Josh Hockett received. Stay tuned for sports with Adrian Lovano. I got the ball out here. Up in my head. Up in my head.
up in my head. I got that bulldog spirit. Up in my head. Up in my head to say. Up in my heart. Hey, deep in my heart. Hey, deep in my heart. Hey, deep in my heart. I got that bulldog spirit. Deep in my heart. Deep in my heart to stay. I got that bulldog spirit. Down in my toes. Down in my toes. Deep in my heart. Deep in my heart. Deep in my heart. I've got that bulldog spirit. Success. At Fresno State, it's no secret. It's discovering new ways to change our world. It's creating opportunities as diverse as our community itself. It's in the distinction of our graduates as they lead us into the future. Success is no secret at Fresno State. It's our mission. I truly feel the heartbeat of everyone who's invested in this place, and I know why we're here. To develop our young men into winners in every respect, as people of character and leaders of integrity. To demonstrate what it is to be a community working as one. Respecting traditions and creating new ones. That's building something bigger than just a great football team. That's being a bulldog. Five home runs this spring. Here it comes inside. Sorry. And Aaron Jones says, I can pull that with no problem. Another home run for Aaron Judge, number six. Former Diamond Dog Aaron Judge had 10 hits this spring for the Yankees, and six of them were home runs. It's safe to say number 99 is ready for the day. Yankees host the Orioles tomorrow at 10 a.m. Welcome to sports. I'm Adrian Wobbenham. Judge's former squad, the Friends State baseball team, hosted San, Diego, San Jose State over the weekend. Nate Timian hit a home run that easily cleared the fence at Pete Biden Field on Sunday. It was hit so far the camera could not keep up. There's Josh Hook on your screen. We'll show you baseball in a bit. It was all Spartans after that as San Jose State took the game 7-5 to five and the series two games to one. Fresno State is in Bakersfield right now with first pitch set for 6 p.m. You can watch tonight's game on the WAC Digital Network. The Fresno State softball team hosted San Jose, San Jose State as well over the weekend at Margie Wright Diamond. Jade Nua's double produced two runs, giving the Bulldogs a 4-2 lead in the third. Haley Dolcini closed the game out for Fresno State as the Dogs won 4-3. This weekend, the Bulldogs are hosting the Fresno State Invitational. The tournament starts on Thursday, and the field includes San Diego, Santa Clara, Pacific, and Cal State Bakersfield. Fifth place has never meant so much to Fresno State. Junior wrestler Josh Hokett finished fifth in the NCAA Wrestling Championships in Pittsburgh on Saturday. With the result, Hokett became Fresno State's first All-American in wrestling since the program was reinstated. Hokett in the camo singlet scored a near fall in overtime for a 7-2 win. That was amazing, you know. Growing up, uh, you know, you watch Fresno State wrestling, you know, and uh, it's a dream come true to be the first All-American, you know. It's, what I work my whole life for. Hoka will hit the football field for spring practice in a couple days. You can watch the full story on FresnoStateFocus.com. The Fresno State Equestrian team hosts UC Davis this Saturday at 1 p.m. for senior day, and now joining me now is one of those seniors who will be honored, Hun Seat rider Atlanta Lotus. Atlanta, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. It's your final time riding here at home. How it bittersweet is. is that? It's really bittersweet. Um, I'm really excited for the home meet this weekend. It's our senior day on Saturday, and um, it's kind of it's also a final benchmark for me um, in my four years at Fresno State. But overall, I'm really excited. I can't wait for the weekend. Now we had your teammate Alexis Steele on back in show one a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. and she was a Western rider. Mm -hmm. You're a hunt seat rider. Can you tell the audience what the difference is and what they are? I am. So um, hunt seat riding is we have two events within hunt seat riding called flat and jumping. 
I do flat and jumping. And um, within Western riding, there's two events called reining and horsemanship. And they're very different, but uh, the collegiate program uh, basically combined in both. And so I get to ride side by side by other riders. Now the NCEA championship is coming up. Mm -hmm. How excited for you that really quick? I'm really, really, really excited. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. There's 12 teams going and we have the opportunity to go. So it's going to be great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Lynn. Thank you so much. It. Thank Speaking you. Speaking of Atlanta Loans, she is a Western uh, Hunt Seat Rider, excuse me. Once again, the Bulldogs host UT, UC Davis on Saturday for Senior Day at the Student Horse Center. Thanks again, Atlanta. Thank you so much. Baseball, basketball, and soccer are some traditional sports that Fresno State offers. However, there's a different kind of sport they can play on campus that involves your video game console. Down for Camille, which will hopefully allow her to finish her that. Train nursing major Ricky Vang is the president of the Nexus Esports Club at Fresno State. He's been playing competitive video games since he was a little kid. Even though they, my parents would like try to limit me, I still played a lot. <laughs> as long as I, uh, you know, make sure my educational is, uh, yeah, first. Esports and video game competitions have been increasing in popularity at Fresno State over the past decade. Now, the Nexus Club is 34 strong and growing. Sports are competitive and uh, I think of esports the same way. It's a competitive online um, battle that you play. But just because you play video games doesn't mean that it's considered esports. Yeah, maybe a YouTuber that plays video games and they earn money. That, that wouldn't really consider them like an like a, um, esport player. Uh, what I would consider one as an esport player is someone who's a um, who's playing pro and who's a part of a team. When it comes to playing pro, it all depends on your team. Club Vice President <laughs> Jonathan Marin says that means choosing the right teammates. Well, currently we're still trying to complete the roster. Um, some people drop out. Some people just don't have the time. So trying to find the roster is the first step. The but, Fresno okay, State team go. competed in a tournament late last That's year, but didn't make it to the semifinals. Shut down. No, not really. I mean, it was, it's our first time doing trying something like that, so not finishing last was was a win for me. Just like a sports team, they're all in this together. Reporting from Fresno State, Connor Matson, Fresno State Focus. The Nexus Esport Club is busy recruiting members and training for next season. They'll compete again in the fall, hoping this time to make it into the playoffs. That's your Focus on Sports. Now back to you, Gabby and Esther. 61 years in business, but now the Chicken Pot Pie Mom and Pop restaurant is closing for good. Unless the family business can find the funds to keep it alive. It's a very well-known restaurant in the Tower District. There's an online fundraiser to help keep the restaurant open right now. It's being sold for $150,000. The last day to get your chicken pot pie is this Sunday. I actually frequently visit Tower District and I was like completely unaware of this. We should go today. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering though, um, it's being sold for 150,000, that's sad news. What if they sold other things there that we just don't know about? Maybe we should go down there, support them, Definitely. give them our last hurrah. Mm, Definitely. Next week on Fresno State Focus, we'll show you how one family went from running a taco truck to having their own restaurant. Plus, see a student at Fresno State display her artwork at their upcoming art hub. Also, Cedric has your guide to a fun weekend. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week.